Hello to everyone. Welcome to the course on numerical lean algebra and application. Today we are going to have 34th lecture of this course. In the last class, we have done the singular value decomposition, which you can find out many applications, especially in image processing, control systems, fractal geometry and financial mathematics and many more areas. In order to get the full insight into the singular value decomposition and its associated properties, today we are going to work out some examples which will render us the familiarity to find out the singular value decomposition. Now first and foremost is let us look at into the singular value decomposition with of 2 by 2 matrix. You see the matrix A considered here is 4, 0, 3, minus 5. Now I want to apply the singular value decomposition that is A transpose times of A. So, A transpose is 4, 0, 3, minus 5 and A is 4, 0, 3, minus 5. So, with this multiplication it becomes 4, 3, are 12, 3, 3, are 9, 25, 4, 0, 0, 3 into minus 5, minus 15, 0 into 4, 0, minus 5 into 3, minus 15. 0 times of 0, 0, minus 5 times of minus 5 is 25. Now, let us look at into the eigenvalues of A transpose A. That is, determinant of A transpose A minus lambda i is 0. So, you get a quadratic equation, lambda square minus 50 lambda plus 400 is equal to 0 which implies lambda square minus 10 lambda minus 40 lambda plus 400 will be equal to 0 which implies lambda is equal to 10 or lambda is equal to 40. To find the eigenvectors for lambda is equal to 10, so you will have a minus 10 lambda. So 25 minus 10 minus 15 minus 15 25 minus 10 multiplied with x1 x2 will be equal to 0 0 which implies 15 minus 15 minus 15 15 multiplied with x1 x2 will be equal to 0. So that will give us 15 x1 minus 15 x2 is 0 which implies x1 is equal to x2. Let x2 is equal to 1, then we will have x1, x2 is equal to 1, 1. Now the unit eigenvector v1 is 1 over norm of x1, x2. So that will give you 1 by square root of 2, 1 comma 1. So which is essentially 1 by square root of 2, 1 by square root of 2. Similarly, for lambda is equal to 40, a minus lambda times of x, that is 25 minus 40, 15 minus 15, 25 minus 40. So, which will give you essentially the matrix minus 15, minus 15, minus 15, minus 15, operating on x1, x2 will be 0. So, 
so essentially you get x1 plus x2 is equal to 0 so let x2 is equal to 1 then x1 is, is equal to minus 1 we will have x1 x2 is equal to minus 1 comma 1 so the unit eigenvector is this is the unit eigenvector v2 is minus 1 by square root of minus 1 square plus 1 square root 2 similarly 1 by square root of minus 1 square plus 1 square which is root 2. So essentially you will have the matrix V is minus 1 over root 2, 1 over root 2, 1 over root 2, 1 over root 2 and sigma is this matrix. To find U such that A is equal to U times of sigma V transpose. So this will give you u is equal to a times of v sigma transpose. So a is 4 0 3 minus 5 and v is minus 1 by square root of 2 1 by square root of 2 1 by square root of 2 1 by square root multiplied with sigma transpose. So that is square root of 40 and square root of 10 and main diagonal and rest are all zeros. So it will become minus 1 by square root of 5, 2 by square root of 5, minus 2 by square root of 5, minus 1 by square root of 5 multiplied with square root of 40, 0, 0 square root of 40. So which will give you this matrix. U is equal to minus 2 root 2, plus 2 root 2, minus 4 root 2, minus root 2. So therefore you get the matrix A is equal to U times of sigma V transpose. Okay. So, where U is equal to minus 2 root 2, 2 root 2, minus 4 root 2 and minus root 2. This is U and V is equal to minus 1 by square root of 2, 1 by square root of 2, 1 by square root of 2, 1 by square root of 2. This is V. So, sigma is this. That is minus sigma is equal to square root of 40, 0, 0, square root of 10. So, now let us look at into the other example. Find the QR decomposition using householder matrix. So, this is a matrix of order 3 over 3. And we wanted to transform this matrix into householder transformation. Second example. So step 1 is this vector 2, 2, 1. And A11 is you apply the algorithm straight away. That is square root of 2 square, square root of 2 square, square root of 1 square. Which will become square root of 9 which is 3. And U1 is equal to A1 plus sine of a11 multiplied with norm of A11 multiplied with E1. So therefore you do get as 221 plus 3 times of 100. Zero zero. So 2 plus 3 5, 2 plus 0 2, 1 plus 0 is 1. So you get a matrix like this. Now H1 if you write it here, so it will become that is I3 minus 2 times of u1 times of u1 transpose upon u1 transpose times of u. So this is algorithm step 2. So i2 is 2 times of u1 u1 transpose upon u1 transpose into u. So if you compute h1, so this is the matrix 1000010001 minus 2 by 30 times of this matrix multiplied with 5 to 1. So essentially when you multiply you do end up with a matrix minus 2 over 3, minus 2 over 3, minus 1 over 3 and it is minus 2 over 3, 11 by 15, minus 2 by 15, minus 1 by 3, minus 2 by 15 and last one is 14 by 15.
Now, if you compute implicitly, what you get is A1 will become H1 times of A. So, this will become minus 2 by 3, minus 2 by 3, minus 1 by 3 and 2 by 3, 11 by 15 and minus 2 over 15. Third one is minus 1 over 3, minus 2 over 15, 14 over 15 and you multiply with the matrix 2 minus 2 18, 2 and 0, 1 2 0. So essentially you will end up with the matrix like this. So it is minus 3, 0, minus 12, 0, 9 by 5, minus 12, 0, 12 by 5, minus 6. This is the matrix you do get it in the first step. So when you go to the second step, remove the first row and first column. So this first row, first column and first row you want to remove it. So you do end up with 9 by 5, minus 12, 12 by 5, minus 6. And when you write this A2, A2 will be like this, 9 by 5, 12 by 5. Here A21 is 9 by 5 which is positive. So A2 is nothing but square root of root 81 by 25 plus square root of 144 by 25. So essentially it is uh, square root of 225 by 25. So 15 upon 5. So 5 there is a 15. So you get a value 3. Hence U2 cap is nothing but A2 plus sine of A22 sin of a21 multiplied with a2 norm of a2 and e1 so that is 9 by 5 12 by 5 plus 3 times of 10 so you end up with the matrix like this so 24 upon 5 12 upon 5 then you will have the matrix like this h2 cap is equal to i2 minus 2 into u2 cap, u2 cap transpose upon u2 hat into u2. So you get h2 is 1001 minus 2 times of this u2 transpose is 24 by 5, 12 by 5 and the matrix is 24 by 5, 12 by 5. So when you multiply and subtract, you end up with minus 3 over 5, minus 4 over 5, minus 4 over 5, 3 over 5. So therefore, we are ready now to write this matrix H2. So H2 is, it is, you know, this is the main diagonal and this is the sub diagonal, this is the super diagonal. Anyway, there are actually 4 zero entries and 5 non zero entries. So it is closer to the sparseness. Compute implicitly the matrices A2 is H2 times of A1. So H2 is the just previously computed H2. 1 0 0 0 minus 3 by 5 minus 4 by 5 0 minus 4 by 5 3 by 5 multiplied with a1 a1 is this matrix minus 3 0 minus 12 0 9 by 5 minus 12 0 12 by 5 minus 6 so ultimately you will end up with this matrix minus 3 0 minus 12 0 minus 3 12 0 0 6 now step 3 is now removing first row and first column so you remove this, you remove this, you end up with 6 only, 1 by 1 matrix. So therefore, now if you look at let A3 is equal to 6, then A3 is equal to square root of 6 square which is again 6. Thus, you do get a matrix like U3 half is equal to U3 plus sine of A31 times of norm of A31 into E1. So you will get 6, 6 plus 6 into 1, 6 square root of 12. So if you substitute over here, so that is h3 hat is equal to 1 minus 2 into u3 hat u3 that is u3 transpose times of u3. So you get ultimately you will end up with a value called minus 1. So having known this matrices, now we are ready to write this matrix h3 is equal to 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0, 0 minus 1. You see this is the main diagonal, these are all zeros. So it is very close to the what we call this sparse matrix. So there are actually you know six zeros they are dominant so therefore we could tell that this matrix is a sparse matrix.
Now, when you go to the third, A3 is nothing but A3 H3 times of A2. So, H3 is this matrix just concluded 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 minus 1 and A2 is minus 3 0 minus 12 0 minus 3 12 0 0 6. So, you will end up with a matrix like this. This is the main diagonal and this is the sub diagonals. So, essentially you will have the somewhere close to the sparse matrix in this case also. Now, with this example, we could able to draw the Q and R, where Q is nothing but the H1 times of H2 times of H3. So, H1 is, you know very well, this H1 is already we computed, that is 3 by 3 matrix, minus 2 over 3, minus 2 over 3, minus 1 over 3, and minus 2 over 3, 11 by 15, minus 2 by 15, minus 1 over 3, minus 2 over 15, 4 over 15, multiplied with, multiplied with a matrix 1, 0, 0, 0 minus 3 by 5, minus 4 by 5, and minus 4 by 5, 3 by 5, and you have a matrix this 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. You will have the matrix finally, you end up with a matrix called Q, which is 1 by 3, minus 2, 2, 1, and minus 2, minus 1, 2, minus 1, minus 2, minus 2. So, if you get this matrix as, you get it as minus 2 over 3, minus 2 over 3, 1 over 3, minus 2 over 3, minus 1 over 3, 2 over 3, minus 1 over 3, minus 2 over 3, minus 2 over 3. This is the matrix, finally you do get it. So, we can also verify that how actually this, uh, the QR factorization turns out to be same. So, this is the matrix Q and this is the matrix R. So, 3 to just 6, 6 upon 3, so 2 correct and uh, 3 to the minus 6, minus 6 upon 3, minus 2 and this is 24 plus 24 minus 6. So, 48, 6, 42 upon 3. Right? So, this is 24 plus 24 minus 6. So, 48 minus 6 is 42. 42 divided by 3. So, 3 1 are 3, 3 4 jar. So, it should be 14. Please correct, there is an error over here. It turns out to be 14. Right, so that is 24, 24 minus 6. So 48 minus 6 is 42. 42 upon 3 is 3 on the 3, 3 4 the 12. 14 it should be. So what was the matrix A? Yes. So, having had this previous example just concluded, we can also have one more example on the QR factorization using classical gram squid process. So, given a matrix, 3 by 3 matrix, you write it as for step k is equal to 1. So, q1 is equal to a1 that is 1 0 0. So, you can write R11 as norm of Q2 that is 1 square, 0 square, 0 square which is 1. And you can write Q1 is equal to Q1 cap upon R1. So, it is 1, 0, 0. So, R12 is in a similar fashion Q1 transpose A2. So, you can write this, this matrix 2, 1, 2, rest are all zeros. So, if you write this Q2 hat, that is A2 minus R12 times of Q1. So, this is 2, 0, 0 minus 2 times of 1, 0, 0. So, 2 minus 2 is 0, 0 and 3 minus 0 is 3. So, R22 is nothing but that is norm of Q2. So, that is 0 square plus 0 square. So, 0 square it is 3 square. So, that is 3. 
so it is 3 square. So Q2 is equal to 1 over norm of A2 cap times of Q2, so 1 over 3, 0, 0, 0, which is 0, 0, 1. And for K is equal to 3, you will have R13, that is Q1 transpose A3, which will be equivalent to 1, 0, 0, 4, 5, 6. 4, 1, yeah, 4, rest are all zeros. And you can write R23 is Q2 transpose into A3, that is equal to 0, 0, 1, and 4, 5, 6, 4, 0, 0, 0, 6, this is 6. So, Q3 cap you can write it as A3 minus R13 times of Q1 minus R23 times of Q2. So, which is you will end up with the matrix called 0, 5, 0. And R33 is Q3 that is 0 square, 5 square, 0 square which is 5. And Q3 is 1 over square root of norm of Q3 into Q3, so 1 by 5 into 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. So it is 0, 1, 0. So capital Q you can write it as the columns of Q1, Q2, Q3, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. And R you would write it as in this form. That is R11, R12, R13, 0, R22, R23, 0, 0, R33. So we will end up with a matrix like this. This is the upper triangular matrix. Now we can verify this matrix QR. So 1 0 0 0 1 1 0 1. So that is fine. 4 1 0 4. That is fine. 0 0 0 fine. 0 0 0 fine. 0 0 5 it is ok, 0, 1, 0, it is 0, 0, the 6, so you get a matrix of A. So QR decomposition we verified that you could able to write two matrices Q into R. So the product of two matrices will become very easy, especially when the matrix is close to the spares. And pivot, if you look at this pivot, in a matrix, a pivot is the first non-zero entry in each row of a matrix in reduced row equivalent form. So you will have a matrix. So for example, pivots if you want to find out. See that here, this is the matrix. This is the matrix you have it. First we will find the row equivalent form of this matrix. So if you write row equivalent form of this matrix, so you want to make this entry as zeros, this entry as zeros. So you have got zeros. And then you want to make this entry also has a 0, so you will end, end up with this matrix like this. So therefore pivots are 1 and minus 1. So these are all main diagonal entries, non-zero, they are actually pivot elements. So therefore, in today's lecture what we learned is, we learned how actually the matrix can be decomposed into QR factorization. Also we have seen the gram schmidt orthogonal process, okay, and also we have seen how actually pivots can be computed by reducing into row reduced equivalent form and see that the main diagonal entries in each row would become the pivotal values. So thank you very much, very short lecture, we have done some few examples and in the coming lecture also we will do some more examples so that we will be able to get the familiarity. Thank you very much, thank you.